my research was focused on power optimizations for tomorrow's supercomputers. Um, we want to be able to build an exascale machine which can um, do about a billion billion operations per second. And so if we were to continue and build this machine, we would be on the order of 500 megawatts of power usage. And we cannot sustain that. So we need to be able to optimize our power for certain applications and be able to minimize what we're using. The, the briefest description is that um, we are trying to answer questions pertaining to human health by studying how genes work in a sort of model organism in our microscopic nematode world. And so by disrupting gene function in these animals and studying the, the effects that that causes, we can understand how the same defects affect human health. And carbon is the stuff of life. It makes up you and me. And we need it in the soil environment to support us. Carbon in the soil is the basis of all terrestrial life, humans included, and it's right outside the front door of residents of Eugene and Springfield. A whole lot of carbon, right underfoot, way down deep into the soil profile. We study hydrogen sulfide, and hydrogen sulfide is a small molecule within the biological system, and it's similar to cysteine and glutathione, which are other files. And so what we look at is the different reactivity profiles of cysteine and H2S. And so how do they differ in their um, chemical reactivities? And how can we study them using fluorescent probes? <laughs> well, and the, so we were asked to make a podcast. Okay. We made okay. a podcast. evaluation for a nonprofit right here on campus. They're called the Resource Assistance for Rural Environments, or RARE. And I'm looking at the partnership that they have with different Main Street communities throughout the state of Oregon. And they're helping them revitalize downtown. So I'm going in, I'm looking at has the partnership been effective and what is the impact of that. Um, and developing strategies for how they can improve that partnership in the future. I'm looking at mental simulation, which is how the brain automatically simulates something when you look at it. So with regards to food, you simulate a healthy food or an unhealthy food. And uh, typically you think about the taste and the smells of healthy food, but it's on healthy food you think about the outcome, the energy, the nutrition. And we found that we can reverse these effects and make you eat healthier foods by encouraging you to think about the outcomes of the unhealthy food and also by presenting the unhealthy food in text and presenting the healthy food in text as well. So I'm working on contemporary sculptor Anthony Gormley from um, what I'm working on is this idea of the index within his work. He claims his work to be indexical, much like a footprint. It only means itself. It only refers to a lived moment in time. However, I don't agree with that. I think there are other elements to his work. I think it could be considered metaphorical or symbolic of greater ideas. Looking at ecological swimming pools, and there's been 20,000 of them built in Europe. And so I'm looking at how to develop design guidelines for the US. So these pools use the science of lakes to clean the water.